The first section in chapter two is titled Integers and Absolute Value. Some vocabulary terms. A negative number is a number that is less than zero. And all of the numbers here in red are negative numbers. A positive number is a number that's greater than zero. All of the numbers in blue are positive numbers. And an integer is any number from the set of numbers negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And you can see the dot, dot, dot on the far left and far right indicates that that continues in both directions. It's basically the counting numbers 0 and the opposite counting numbers. I also want to point out that the number 0 is neither positive or negative. So let's look at some examples where you are to write an integer for each situation. Again, please be writing the problems down in addition to the answers. So number one, we have 23 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So if something is below zero, it's going to be negative and it's 23. So if we were to write an integer for the situation, 23 degrees Fahrenheit below zero, we would say negative 23. 11 inches more than normal is number two. So if it's more than normal, more than is going to indicate greater than zero. So this would be a positive 11. Take a look at number three, a loss of eight yards. So a loss, you think less than zero. So we would say negative eight. A loss of eight yards would be negative eight. A few more vocabulary terms. A coordinate is a number that corresponds to the point on a number line. So here we have a coordinate, negative four. That's the point, negative four on the number line. We also have a co coordinate here at two, positive two on the number line. And an inequality compares numbers or quantities. So some more examples. Let's use the integers that are graphed on the number line below. And you can see the two integers that are graphed on the number line are negative two and one. Please make sure you write this number line down, doesn't have to be perfect, and label it as I have. So letter A says we need to write two inequalities. Remember those involve the signs greater than and less than, involving the numbers one and negative two. So if we start with negative two, because it's to the left of one, that means it's less than one. Negative two is less than one. But it says we need to write a second inequality. So let's start with the number one. Number one is to the right of negative two. So one is greater than negative two. For part B, you're to use less than, greater than, or equals in the statement negative three, blank, negative five. And we need to make this a true sentence. So is negative three less than, greater than, or equal to negative five? Well, it's definitely not equal to negative five, so we can cross that one off. So now is it less than or greater than? Well, if we look at the number line, in the negatives, you kind of have to think of things backwards. The bigger a number is in the negative direction, actually the smaller the number is. So negative three is to the right of negative five. It's actually greater than negative five. So we would say negative three is greater than negative five. And that makes that a true sentence. The last vocabulary term is absolute value, and that's the distance a number is from zero on a number line. It is always greater than or equal to zero. So if we look at the absolute value of five, that's what those bars mean. So anytime you see those vertical bars around a number, it means absolute value. So the absolute value of five, how far is the number five away from zero? Well, you can count one, two, three, four, five. 
so the absolute value of 5 is 5. Now let's look at the absolute value of a negative number. The absolute value of negative 5. How far is negative 5 away from 0? If we start at 0, we want to count to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is 5 units away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 5 is also 5. What you'll see is that the absolute value takes negative numbers and makes them positive because it's a distance. So let's look at some examples. Use the number line to evaluate each expression. Number five, we have the absolute value of negative four. Here's negative four. I'll show it graphed on the number line. How far away is negative four from zero? Well, we can count one, two, three, four. So the absolute value of negative four is four. How about three? How far is three from zero? One, two, three. The absolute value of three is three. Hopefully you're getting the hang of the absolute value. Again, it's going to make negative numbers positive and it's going to keep positive numbers positive because it's a distance from zero. So number seven says the absolute value of five plus the absolute value of one. Well, the absolute value of five is five and the absolute value of one is one. So when we add five plus one, we get six. You go ahead and try number eight, see if you can get the right answer, and then check your work with me. So pause the video here and try number eight. The absolute value of negative two would be two. Negative two is one, two units away from zero then we are subtracting the absolute value of one, which is just going to be one. And two minus one is one. Hopefully you got that one right, and if not, you can see where you went wrong. In class, we'll work on worksheet two, one.